Mm -hmm. All you could just see was the fire just roaring this way. Melissa Inman smelled and then saw the smoke. And it was just coming this way, just going up into the trees. Her first thought, call her next door neighbor. You need to get out of the house now. Right there in the middle of the metal. I was asleep. The call woke Manny Rocco up. He ran outside to see his home on fire. When I got out of the house, all I was wearing were these shorts and these sandals. This isn't even my shirt. He tried grabbing a hose to protect his house and the cars he repairs and resells. Oh no, there's the garden hose. <laughs> Nothing was stopping this fire. It melted aluminum wheels and turned the Rocco home into rubble. I wanted to say how how gracious my neighbors and friends and uh, my family support has been. This was an all hands on deck type of operation. Investigators don't know what started the fire, but it came from a neighboring property where several RVs had been parked. It quickly spread during the peak of the heat on Saturday when temperatures neared 100 degrees. Firefighters say this could have been deadly had Melissa Inman not taken action. It's a uh, a testament to this community and how well they come together. I think there's a higher power telling me that was my first knee-jerk reaction to something. As devastating as the fire was, everyone here is grateful no one was hurt. We worry about the people. We don't worry about our possessions.